I've approached this in a particular way because I looked at the question and I saw that it didn't just want positive definite. It actually wanted positive definite. And in a second, it's going to ask me to work out negative definite as well. So you can see I've taken this part first because the discriminant will just tell me whether it's definite or indefinite. I've worked that out. And then I'm going to take two different inequalities for A and that'll tell me concave up or concave down. Okay, so let's walk through. Here's my quadratic. Dividing through by 4 is fine, because 4 is positive, so my inequality stays that way. There's my factorised form. I have a look at my graph. It's concave up, so I want the part between, which is what we anticipated before. So 2 to 18, not inclusive. Okay? We're so far okay with that. So now my graph will be definite. Okay? For positive definite, I come back to this condition on the leading coefficient, on A. Right? And I go through. Now once I march through, this is what I have at the end. Now, I've crudged all the numbers and you need to think. What do you conclude out of this? How do I satisfy, remember, I want the intersection of both of these inequalities. What do you conclude? <coughs> Four. Who's got an answer? Two is in, uh, no, K is in between 2 and 18. Okay, and this is interesting, right? One and two thirds, right? One and two thirds is below two, right? That's, that's precisely why I put it as a mixed numeral, right? So being that this includes the entirety of this, right? So if I draw this on a number line, right? Uh, here's my number line, kind of. One and two thirds, those should be hollow circles, sorry. One and two thirds is here, right? And then it goes all the way this way, okay? If I want the intersection between this little part and this bigger part, all that means is it's just a little part. That's all. Okay. So I have this. Whoops. There we go. So in other words, this poses me no problems. If I'm in here, then this is always satisfied. Great. Okay. So now I want to move into part B, which is for negative definite. Because we already did the legwork to work out what happens for A positive, I've already worked out what happens for K negative, right? It's just the opposite of this. Do you see that? I mean, I could reverse this if you like. 3k minus 5 is less than 0. But you can see, I'm going to go through exactly the same steps here to simplify out, make k the subject. The only difference is dot, 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 that the inequality is facing the other direction. OK, now again, you've crunched your numbers, but now it's up to you to take all of that and draw a conclusion. What values are k? make this quadratic negative definite. Aha, uh -huh. I have a problem, don't I? Let's come back to this. I'm going to clean it up a little bit just so you can see it as a number line, see it really clearly. This guy in here is 2 to 18. There it is. Okay. This is less than, and we already demonstrated, 1 and 2 thirds is below 2. So I'm going this way. I wanted the intersection, the place where these inequalities overlap, and they never overlap, right? So therefore, I could say no real values of k. Now, what's really interesting with this is that, like, we would have thought, OK, I can change k to be anything I like, so I should be able to make this quadratic anything I like. Well, no, because there's this relationship here, right? I'd love you to go to, go to Desmos, plug this in, right? Uh, once you put this in, it'll say, would you like to add a slider for k, right? You go ahead, you do it, right? And then as you vary k, because you know what values are happening here, you might need to change the domain of k. I think the default is negative 10 to 10. So do something more interesting. Go past 18, see what happens. You should be able to anticipate what you think will happen. Float around. You will never be able to find a value of k, no matter how far you go, that will give you a graph that looks like this. Right? According to what we have concluded, it just can't be done. Right? Just as a bit of an end note, right? Uh, part C says, I don't want the quadratic to be definite, I want it to be indefinite. And we have, in a sense, already worked out the answer to this question. Right? What if I want it to be indefinite? Where do I go in this working to look at what will give me the inequality for this? Yeah. Okay, so if this is what makes it definite, then if I don't have this, it will be indefinite, right? So it's, this is an inside, right? So I want the outsides, right? So I want k to be less than or equal to 2. I don't have the boundary here, so it has to be here. Um, or k is greater than or equal to 18. That's just the outsides, 
ta-da, it's indefinite, right? And for, uh, that, now, that's right. Now, there's one more thing I'm missing, though. There's one more thing I'm missing. Uh, let's just look at what this looks like on uh, this number line, okay? So we look like this. Okay, you're right with that? That's where it exists. Ah, but I've already identified for you a problem. There's one tiny, tiny little problem with this domain that I've stated, right? It's all okay over here, I'll give you that clue, but there's something wrong over here that you have to watch out for, right? For it to be a quadratic that's indefinite. Oh, it can't be even zero. For it to be a quadratic that's oh. indefinite, it needs to be a quadratic, doesn't it? Does that make sense? Because if it's not a quadratic, it's not going to be an indefinite quadratic. Now, what condition would make this guy not a quadratic? Answer, yeah, when this guy is zero, right? I already know when this is zero. It's this point here. See that? That's the point at which k is equal to, sorry, where a is equal to zero, right? So that can't be part of the inequality. That's really sneaky, isn't it? Right? You're just concentrating on this, but there's one tiny little value that stops it being not only indefinite, but a quadratic altogether. So this or this, um, <coughs> but k cannot equal 5 over 3. Okay, that's the um, 1 and 2 thirds. That's the value which makes it not indefinite. It makes it not a quadratic. So you can't have that. 